Okay, welcome to this uh, PHP basics uh, tutorial video thing. Um, so in this video we're going to talk very briefly, I've said that before again, um, about the implode and explode functions. Um, so we're going to be working with this uh, page here, which is just called explode.php. Um, it's just a single file, there's nothing else going on, and I've also got it open in my text editor here. At the moment it's just a simple HTML page sort of uh, template type thing. Um, so what we're going to do is sort of demonstrate the implode and explode functions. Um, the reason we're doing them together is that they sort of complement each other fairly well. They have basically the same syntax, um, same parameters even. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so we'll do expl explode first because it's the simplest. So um, best way to um, sort of explain this is just to demonstrate it. So what I'm going to do first is define a string equal to um, a, str a variable called string equal to this string and this string is going to be my name is Bob not quite true but never mind um, so then what we can do uh, using the explode function is we can sort of split this string up into its words basically um, so you can explode on a space which is sort of what you say when you use the explode function um, I'll demonstrate that in a moment so we'll get my in um, we'll get like an, an array with four elements each element will have one of these words so the first element will be my the second one will be name third is fourth Bob so if I just do uh, let's see um, words equals explode so this is the explode function it takes two parameters the first one is the character you want to split the string on so if I split it up by space we'll get all the words um, and then the second parameter is the string you want to split so string spelled right so now we have this uh, words array if I just now do a print underscore r of words um, that will just print out the array in a way that like people can read it basically um, you'll see that in a moment if I just reload the page now you can see we get um, an, ar an array, because we, we get told it's an array, and it has four elements in total, and each one is one of the words. So that's basically it for the explode function. Um, you don't have to use a space, you can use any character. So say if I just do, um, if I do, what can I do? Well, let's just do A. Now if I just reload the page again, you can see it, we get my, n and m, mm, me is Bob. <laughs> um, so yeah, the character you're splitting on doesn't appear in the string because it's everything sort of in between the occurrences of that character. So you can see here the A is missing, uh, and obviously now we yeah, just have two because, oops, because in the string the bit before the A is this about the quote, and after it is this. So that's pretty much it for the explode function. Um, it's very useful. It sort of comes up a lot when you're doing things with arrays, basically. Um, you might want to get all the words of a string and that's a way you can do it so uh, that's pretty much it um, the next thing we're going to talk about is the implode function which is kind of the opposite of the explode function instead of splitting a string um, splitting a string up like into an array it takes an array and sort of joins it all together into a string so say if we just define an array of words and this is going to be equal to an array and the words are going to be my whoops my name is oops how to type like this not oh not bob okay so now we have an array of those words and if we just do print underscore r of words again and reload our page <coughs> you see we get this, a similar output to when we use the explode function except obviously now um, um, there are different words <laughs> so what we can do with the implode function is we can take this array and we can put a character between each element so we'll have like my then the character we specify name then the character we specify is and then you see where I'm going with this um, one doesn't get put at the ends so it's just in between each element of the array. <coughs> Excuse me.
So um, if we just do now, if we define string as implode, uh, it takes again, it takes two parameters. The first one is the character you want to put between each element, and the second one is the array you want to sort of process. So if we put a space between each element, and the words array is the one we want to work with. And if I just do now echo string and reload our page, you can see we just get my name is not Bob, which is basically, um, well it's a string, this is a string. Um, yeah, and it's just each element of this array with a space between it. Um, you can use any character, so if I just do like one of these vertical bars and hit reload again, this sort of highlights how it works a bit more clear, uh, in, in a more clear way, I think anyway. So this vertical bar is what's been placed and you can sort of see the elements of the array here, 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 here and here. Oops, no, here, there, good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for implode. Um, if you just want to join all of the elements into a string, like without any separating character, you can just uh, specify an empty string for this first parameter and that will just give you something that's hard to read. Um, there are quite a few occurrences when you'd want to do that. Generating a random password is um, the first one that sort of springs to mind. So yeah, that's pretty much it for implode and explode. Um, technically, this function first parameter is kind of optional. Um, so you, you can like you can do that, um, and it'll work just the same as I just demonstrated. Um, the reason for that though is that um, this function can take its parameters in either order so you could also do this I think yeah um, although for consistency with the explode function it makes sense to always specify the character you want to put between the elements as the first parameter um, and I usually do an empty string if I just want to do like um, I just want to join all the elements together so they're sort of two very useful array manipulation functions um, so yeah that's basically it so thanks for watching and I hope some of this was useful